Alright, welcome back to Digital Raps Galleons. This is your captain speaking, and we are playing Conquest of the Longbow. Uh, we just got the beggar's clothing, so we are headed to Nottingham to see what Lob has to say. Uh, where's the tits and the cobbler? That's what he said, right? Yeah. Do, 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 here we are. Bum, 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 bum. I am a beggar. I am a beggar. Just a lovely beggar. Ah, uh, may I help you? Don't be fooled by this disguise. I'm Robin Hood as I've come as you and I've come as you fast. Eh, are you addled? Beggar. Oh, excuse me. Are you addled, Becca? But I am Robin Hood, you sent for me. Poor man, what strange delusion afflicts you? Okay, you want the slipper, I get it. Alright, okay, take the damn shoe. Since you're a cobbler, it makes sense to give you a shoe. What a fine slipper. You uh, were given this? Indeed. By a vision of beauty named Marion. Shh. Never speak her name aloud here. Call her only the lady if you must mention her at all. Please, come with me. <laughs> Forgive my caution, but the sheriff has spies everywhere, and I, needed, and I need to be sure of you. So you are the infamous Robin Hood. None other. Your disguise is, um, interesting. It serves its purpose, but the sooner I'm rid of it, the better. I've risked much to come here, Lob. You'll pardon. I'll speak swiftly into the point. Though you are known as an outlaw, it's also said you swear fealty to King Richard. As God is my witness, I am the King's loyal and devoted servant. I was justly outlaw unjustly outlawed through treachery. Those who abuse the high offices of corruption and greed are, greed are my enemies, not Richard the Lionheart. But what of the King? Have you news? Is he free yet? That, alas, is why I've called for you. Good Queen Eleanor labors to raise the hundred thousand gold marks that is the ransom fee, but has been yet unable to raise the full amount. Prince John employs all means of political betrayal, bribery, and outright theft to see that his brother is never released. Shrivel his black soul! Aye, the prince conspires with the sheriff of Nottingham, the sheriff and abbot of Nottingham. To the abbot, John is entrusting a treasury of 50,000 marks, which he has diverted away from the queen and into his own pocket. The treasury will be sent from York, which means it must travel here along Watling Street, if it could be captured. By the Virgin, it shall not leave Sherwood Forest except to be delivered to the Queen. It is as I hoped, you may be the only man in all of England who can bring about the King's release. Where, when will this treasure be sent, and how come you know so much of these matters? I am but a humble servant of the Queen, as is Lady Marian. Though Lady Marian is, uh, um, well, I shall leave it to Lady the Lady to explain how much, how much you learn of her. <laughs> For the treasure, I must leave tomorrow and travel to York to learn what I can. I'll send warning of their departure date to you through Lady Marion, then I will see more of her. Indeed you will. Here in town she lives the role of a demure maiden, but in the forest she... that, uh, well, she what? You will learn what you will learn. Take this silver comb. When you see her, when you give her this, when you give this key to her, she'll know we have spoken and that you've joined us to save the king. I could do nothing else. Where does Marion live? You will never seek her out in town. Never. It's far too dangerous for both of you. She'll wait for you in the sacred place, the willow grove upon the river. Ah, the place of the dream. Beg pardon? Nothing. Give the queen my word. I will seize this treasure in her name and as much other ransom as I can raise besides. Bless you, and Godspeed you on your mission. Godspeed you on your mission. Yes. Alright, so we're out of here. Hobble my ass out of town. Come on, hobble my ass out of town. Let's go. I hurriedly eager to the camp as night fell. I had much to tell my uh, men, but in truth, I was most eager to rid myself of the beggar's accursed rags and to stand straight again. I don't know anything but what that's like. Phew! The stench of those burning rags does nothing to improve my digestion. Perhaps I should have saved the beggar's garb instead of burning it, though it was already falling apart. Nay, I'm glad to see it burn. I swear, in one day of wearing those tatters, I've gained a thousand flea bites. Tell us again of this treasure. It comes down Watling Street. Ha when? How will it be guarded? Lob must learn all of this and pass the information to us when the time is right. Patience, John. Our chance to serve the king will come. Nor will I count uh, only upon this treasure. I'll gather whatever ransom uh, by whatever means I can. You preserve two treasures, eh, master? For on the morrow, you may at last exchange more than a fleeting word with this dream maiden of yours. Aye, and though I love my king, I shall not say which treasure I pursue with more eagerness. <laughs> oh, Robin Hood, you're such a man. Alright, so let's save our game. We've managed to see Cobb. 
spoken to Cobb, looking for Miriam. Day four. All right, so now we're on day four. And then we're gonna go wander out. Morning, Will. Any news? All's quiet. John might be at the Overlook. I'll be about if you need me. Okay, so John's at the Overlook. Let's go see what's up there. Uh, I don't see John. Oh. One of the sheriff's men preys upon a helpless peasant. This looks familiar. Hold. I would know why this man is bound. It's none of your affairs, but he's a poacher. Ah, I know you. You're Robin Hood. Show this bully behind me who's the true master of Shorewood Forest. Shut up, you, or I'll kill you now and save myself a lot of trouble. Robin Hood, eh? Your head'll fetch me a fine reward. Tis your head that's in greater peril. All outlaws are cowards. You think I'd run from the likes of you? Not when it takes great courage to arrest a man whose only crime is hunger. He killed one of the king's deer. The law says he must die. It's the sheriff's greed and the illegal taxes he collects that drive people to such desperate measures. Fuck, what do I care? I order you to surrender yourself at once. That's what I think of you, punk. By the virgin, that was masterly shooting! Hold still, fellow. I'll have you untied in a thrice. I will, believe me. What shooting? I'll never forget this day. I thank you heartily. Is it safe to return from my dear? You'd best not return. We know better how to smuggle such a thing close to town. And here come the boys again. Dude, you keep saving me. Lads, this fellow has a this fellow's had a lucky day, saved from a poacher's fate. Will you bring here? Will some of you now help him and bring his deer to his family? Will and I will fetch the deer, Robin. But what of his this other carrion? Though he scarcely deserves it, bring a shroud and bury him. Tis the only Christian thing to do. Fah, he's on his way to Hades anyway. Well, we'll leave it. Leave it to us. Thank you again. I can't wait to tell my wife. I was saved by Robin Hood. She's gonna think he's some kind of fucking drunkard. <laughs> Alright, well, I saved some dude. He's broken into a run and plunges into the forest. No doubt, take a shortcut home. He's done. Let's go see... Ah, well, you know, there's Marion. Bring no weapons into the sacred place. If you wish it, my lady, I will gladly lay them down. <laughs> I am most pleased to see you again. I beg you to stay longer this time. That will depend upon you, for I've yet to decide if I may fully trust you. Well, he said she'll trust us if I give her the comb, so let's give her the comb. So you've spoken to Lob. He wouldn't have given this token to you, uh, you this token unless you'd agreed to join us. Marion, I love my king as well as any subject. I'll do everything in my power to save him and raise as much ransom as I can. Seizing the stolen treasure that Prince John sends to the abbot will be more than enough. Of course, sweet lady, but you'll not begrudge me the thought of raising more if me the means present itself. I like not that you think only of stealing. You wound me. I steal only from those corrupt curs who grow fat upon the suffering of others. Then, noble Robin, I beg your pardon and urge you to be a wolf among curs that we may save a lion. But now I must speak more seriously. The prince suspects that we move against him. He has many spies watching the queen and those who serve her, uh, so we must act with great caution. What do you know of the monks from the fens, as the one who attacked me? Little enough, save that one that from the, save that from that one deed they've earned my hatred. <laughs> They're handpicked by men who serve Prince John. Each was a soldier. John has bidden them to form a monast monastic order to cover their true dealings on his behalf. Already they've stolen an object that is vital to my plans. I must have it back before we make another move. What is it? A simple scroll upon which a drawing, which has drawn the outline of a hand. This is of such import that we must have it? I wouldn't ask it otherwise. Then I'll fetch it back for you. I cannot tell you how glad you made me, for I despaired of ever finding a way. Glad enough to reward me with a kiss? Oh, Robin. Perhaps, when you've earned one. When you have the hand scroll return here, I'll be waiting. Now I gotta ask you about this emerald. 
Blessed lady, how did you come by this? I dreamt of you. You danced in a circle within this very grove. You saw the spiral dance? When you, van you reached the center, you vanished and left this behind. I awoke to find it clutched in my hand. You're trembling. I, I don't mean to frighten you. It was you! I also dreamt, but I couldn't see you. I danced and felt you watching, but I wasn't afraid. I felt those were the eyes of my true love. Aww! Ever since I saw you, I hoped. You see, I also found a token when I awoke. And mine is half a heart like yours, but made of diamonds. Look! <gasps> they match! It's so beautiful! Did you create this? It can only be a gift from the Blessed Lady, the Virgin Queen of Heaven, whom I serve. I'm a priestess of ancient powers. I dance the spiral dance for the health and regeneration of the forest. Did you feel the renewing force of the emerald and diamond joined? Together, they could heal any hurt. I felt it, and surely I feel my love for you. Will you pledge yourself to me, Marion? By the tokens of love, I plight my troth to you, but the fulfillment of our love must wait. Before an outlaw and forest priestess can be free to marry, King Richard must return. I fear you're right. I can offer you neither home nor safety until I can win the king's pardon. Your love is all I ask. Guard the emerald. Keep it safe. It is half my heart you have in your hands. I must go now, but most... Be careful in dealing with the monks. I'll pray for your success. Wow. I didn't think marriage could be that easy. Holy Jesus. Alright, well, we know what the Emerald's about, and we've got to talk to Marion, and we'll find more about her and the monks in our next episode. Hey, thanks for watching, Digital Rapscallions. Interested in other Let's Plays? Click the link below to check on our Quest for Glory 2 Let's Play, or visit our channel to see what else we have to offer.